Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to my blog. This is Sima Descartes in Yon once again. So, uh, for this blog, we're going to discuss the SAR 2.0 questionnaire which regards sa uh, vapor emission control system. Okay? For the control of VEX settings. No? So, it's either your vessel is inverted using VEX or non inverted using VEX and inverted not using VEX and not inverted not using VEX okay so let me explain it to you one by one so for non inverted tanks because you expect uh, PV bulbs are working since uh, there's no VEX or no bay for return gentlemen or ladies so if the PV bulbs are working correctly the pressure inside the cargo tank will never exceed these levels. So with that, uh, for example, if your PV valve setting is uh, 2,000 mm water gauge and your vacuum setting is negative 350 mm water gauge, so it is only if the pressure inside the tank increases to more than this PV valve settings that the uh, chief officer or the duty officer would like to be alerted. Okay. So, when loading, ladies and gentlemen, the officer would like to be alerted when the pressure inside the tank is more than 2,000 mm water gauge. And uh, while for discharging, the duty officer would like to be alerted when the vacuum inside the tank is more than negative 350 mm water gauge. So, uh, pressure sensors alarms need to be set at pressure 10% uh, higher than the, two, than the 2,000 mm water gauge. 10% of that will be 2,200 mm water gauge for example. Okay? And for vacuum since it will be 10% more from negative 350 mm water gauge it will become negative 385 mm water gauge which you will have to set in CCR or the cargo, cargo control room here, no? So CCR. And uh, until the time there is a no alarm, it would mean that the pressure inside the cargo tanks is less than these values. And duty officer, not to worry. If alarm sounds, the duty officer needs to reduce loading or unloading rate in these tanks and investigate kung ano yung reason ng overpressure. Okay, so that's number one. So, for number two, naman, okay, yung inerted tanks. What about inerted tanks? Inerted tanks, that means, of course, we all know about it. Oxygen level maintained below 8% by volume. So, when the tanks are in inerted condition, we cannot allow the air to come inside the tank. Otherwise, oxygen level inside the tanks increases. Okay? So, when loading, ladies and gentlemen, tanks will be under positive pressure and excess pressure will be ventilated through PV valves, okay? So, when discharging, so for discharging naman, we cannot let the vacuum side of the PV valve leave. So, we supply the inert gas to the cargo tanks to keep this under positive pressure or the inert gas system. So, that means the duty officer would like to be alerted when so during loading, positive pressure is more than the PV valve lifting pressure. So the setting will be 10% more than the PV valve lifting pressure. Okay? So the tank is under vacuum during discharging. So the setting must be set above zero. So recommended setting for this one is 100 mm water. Okay? So, paano naman kapag gumagamit ka naman ng vapor return or VEX, okay, or the vapor emission control system? So, when using the uh, vapor return line, uh, that means the, the cargos are toxic or it is as per the terminal requirement. And the vapor line allows the connection between the ship tank's vapor space and of course the short tank's vapor space. That means 
the vapor spaces are in equilibrium with each other, short tanks at saka ng shift stance. So the purpose of this vapor line is that this should not be uh, release of cargo vapors into the atmosphere. So the purpose of the vapor line is that uh, there should not be a release of cargo vapors into the atmosphere. So yun yung reason talaga, di ba? So the chief officer uh, giving instructions to, their, to, to his duty officer uh, would like to be alerted before the pressure inside the tanks leaves the PV valve. Okay, so yun yung reason. So this alarm will give sufficient time for the chief officer or the duty officer to take corrective action. So in this regard or in this case, 10% less of the activation pressure of pressure relief valve should be set in CCR or in the cargo control room. So for example, if your PV valve uh, high pressure setting is 2,000, 10% less of that will be 1,800 millimeter water gauge. So for vacuum side naman, it would depend if its tanks are inerted or non-inerted. So if it's inerted tanks using BEX, it's 102 millimeter water gauge. For in non-inerted tanks using BEX, it is negative 350 millimeter water gauge, which is exactly the low pressure setting of your PV valve. Okay? So that is the explanation, gentlemen. So to summarize, to summarize this uh, uh, back setting okay in your in CCR uh, we have the high pressure first for inerted tanks using vapor return line or VEX it should be 10% less for non-inerted tanks using VEX it is also 10% less okay for the high pressure setting for the inerted tanks not using the vapor return line it is 10% more okay for non-inerted tanks not using the vapor return line or the VEX, it is also 10% more. Now, let's go to the low pressure setting. For inerted tanks using VEX, it is 102 mm water gauge. For non-inerted tanks using vapor return line or VEX, it is exactly as your PV valve low pressure setting, negative 350 mm water gauge, for example. And for inerted tanks not using the non uh, the vapor return line, it is 100 millimeter water gauge at least. Okay, so for non-inerted, not using vapor return line, it is 10% more or less. So from negative 350, uh, you you add 10% more, it will become negative 385 millimeter water gauge will be your low pressure setting okay so now i'm going to show you on how to set it in the cargo monitoring system here in the ccr yung uh yung setting natin yung uh back setting natin okay so keep a close watch all right so how to change the uh, pressure and vacuum settings okay in ccr which is your secondary settings just double click the respective tank and then you can see it here low alarm limit and then the high alarm limit okay so just click and then enter that's how you do it so for example if I click this one so if I click this one double just one click There you go. You can enter the high alarm limit. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'm going to show you on how to change now. So this is the high alarm limit. However, in this CCR, it is in uh, M bar or millibars. Okay. So what we have uh, on deck with our PV bulb, it is a millimeter water gauge. Okay. Millimeter water gauge. So for example, our PV bulb. Uh, uh, setting is 2000 millimeter water gauge so that is 200 m bar okay so 10 percent of that since we are inerted tanks we are inerted tanks not using vex so we can write uh, 2000 
200 millimeter water gauge or in M bar that will be 220. So just left click and then click here 220 and then press enter. Okay, so that's how you do it. So it's already 220 M bar, 10% more of the high pressure setting of your PV valve or inerted tanks not using tanks. Okay, I hope you learned a lot. This is Simada Starting Bjorn once again. Uh, please like, follow, and subscribe to my channel. Dahil sa buhay, dapat happy ka!